Okay, in this video, we're going to make the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital for ethylene so that we can use this model as, as, along with betadiene for the diels alder reaction to show in class. We need one black 260 balloon for the orbitals and to show the phase on the different orbitals, the different signs. We're going to use uh, two white 5 inch balloons and two blue 5 inch balloons. Since ethylene is only two carbons, it's fairly short, we're not going to use much of this balloon. So we're going to pump this up using just two pumps. And that should be sufficient. We're going to burp it and then tie it off. Notice there's a good amount of balloon left. Don't worry about that. We're going to cut that off at the end. What we're going to do is make a one inch bubble. Then we're going to take the nozzle of the balloon and twist that into that gap. That's going to make a pinch twist. We're going to take a second one inch bubble, make a second pinch twist. And we'll straighten those out once we attach the other balloons. About a four inch bubble. So that's about four inches in length. Followed by a one inch bubble. And a second one inch bubble that we're also going to pinch twist. And that's our two carbon backbone. That's really all we need. So we're going to deflate the rest of the balloon. Tie it off and then cut off the remaining piece. So that's our T carbon backbone. Now, taking one of each color to represent the signs of the lobes of the orbitals, we inflate each of those with three pumps. Tie those together and insert those in the middle of this pre bubble cluster. And make sure those pinch twists are horizontal. That's going to hold that one into place. The lowest unoccupied molecular orbital has a phase change in the center, so we're going to see opposite colors on the other end. So we're going to blow that up again, three pumps. And this gives us now the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of ethylene. When we're looking at this in class, we can easily show students that the orbitals, the interaction of the orbitals is like this. Lobes of the same sign are the ones interacting and bonding. So as this comes in, it's going to come in and form two new carbon-carbon bonds where those orbitals start to overlap. And that's all there is to it.